Danger, danger everywhere? Maybe not so much in the U.S. these days. Did you know that crime in America is actually at an all-time low? While there's pockets in the U.S. that resemble third world countries, when you actually look at the numbers, the number of thefts, robberies, assaults, and murders has been going down over the past 50 years. That's very refreshing, isn't it? But we're not going to be all puppy dog tails and rainbows today, folks. In the states we're going to talk about, things are certainly lacking in the safe department. So after looking at the number of violent and property crimes per capita in each FBI reporting year since 2010, we're going to bring you America's most dangerous states. Our first stop on our danger tour of America starts in Missouri. Most Americans might think of Missouri as a bunch of redneck farmers, and for the most part, they'd be right. But if you haven't stepped foot in St. Louis before, here's what you're missing. In 2017, St. Louis had the most murders per capita in the entire country. Sure, most of the crimes that happened here are between rival gangs and within certain neighborhoods, but that doesn't mean the violence doesn't spill into other parts of St. Louis. Fact is, if you live in St. Louis, you can't feel safe at all. So while the majority of Missouri is completely safe, and many Missouri residents work hard, go to church, and care about their communities, the real jerks in the Show Me State make things bad for everyone else. In terms of property crimes, Missouri ranks as the 13th worst. That takes into account stolen cars, cell phones, and even toys. We don't go very far in our next stop in our danger tour of the United States. Oklahoma ranks ninth on our list. Now in Oklahoma, property and violent crimes aren't in the top 10 in either category, but when you add up the number of crimes per resident, this state has some serious issues. Most of them are poverty related. Tulsa in particular is a really bad place to live. Violent crime here has actually gone down by 4% and property crime by 5%. Still, residents had about a 1% chance to be in the victim of violence and about a 5% chance to be in the victim of a theft or arson. In fact, according to our statistics, you'd have about a 1 in 100 chance to be in the victim of a violent crime each year here. And that doesn't take into consideration this state's tornado danger or native stinging caterpillars either. Some people say Oklahoma's issues are with state funding, which builds jails instead of schools, and a healthcare problem that leaves many people in the dark here. Is Oklahoma a great state to live? Sure it is, but are there some parts that are really dangerous? You betcha. Arizona comes in as our eighth most dangerous state to live in America. And we're not talking about the weather either, people. Arizona is one of two states out west to make this list. There are really two main issues with crime in Arizona, robberies and the U.S.-Mexico border. Arizona saw 18,000 cars stolen last year, and there were nearly 40,000 home invasion robberies in the state too. How would you feel to come home to a house that's been pillaged? Well, Arizona people know. Better lock up that cactus. The border's a real issue here. Every day, people complain of burglars, people breaking into their homes, smuggling coming through their properties and damaging their properties, and of immigrant-related assaults. Arizona is also third worst in America for its health care and has the third highest rate of people getting hit by cars. At least you can carry a gun here without a permit, so that might make you feel safer. And in terms of Phoenix, it's really ghetto in some areas, but downtown Phoenix is so boring, even the criminals don't want to hang out there. Alabama is the first southern state to make the list. It won't be our last either. In terms of rankings, Alabama is 8th worst for property crimes and 8th worst for violent crimes. Last year, Alabama saw nearly a murder every day. The worst places in Alabama are in cities like Birmingham, where crimes between gangs happen all the time. But you can also get attacks on residents trying to go about their normal business. Most of the crime, though, is between populations that are poor and marginalized. Many attribute it to drugs and poor quality of life, where people are born into a sense of helplessness based on what they see around them. U.S. News & World Report once called Birmingham the third most dangerous city in the entire country. Other dangerous hotspots in Alabama are Gadsden and Bessemer. Seems like home sweet Alabama is a little sour. But at least Alabamans don't have to worry about UFOs ready to take them hostage. Yet. Or fighter-breathing Godzillas that run around burning up people's homes when they get pissed off. That would really suck. Where's the sixth most dangerous state in America? That would be South Carolina. Southern charm has lost its charm. South Carolina is notorious for property crimes, where residents have the fourth highest chance in the country for being the victim of a car theft, robbery, or home invasion. You could probably take all the crime that happens in Myrtle Beach away, and South Carolina would drop 10 spots. Myrtle Beach used to be an amazing place for vacations and for the kids. No longer. 
If you've been to Myrtle Beach in the last 10 years, you'd see lots of trash, break-ins, criminal activity, and hear gunshots at night when you're trying to sleep in your beachside hotel room. It's especially bad here during Bike Week, 4th of July, Spring Break, and any other warm weather-related holiday. Myrtle Beach, we're so disappointed in you. Much of South Carolina is relatively poor, which is part of the problem with the property crimes. In many areas, unemployment's high, drug use is rampant, education's undervalued, and people don't have any pride or respect for themselves or others. Is this a pretty state? In many parts along the coast, some say it's the prettiest in America. But it's a place where you can't leave your keys in your Hyundai Elantra and expect it to be there when you get back. Would you have guessed that Tennessee is the fifth most dangerous state in America? If you're from Memphis, you'd probably agree. Memphis just may be the worst city in America in many categories. Residents faced a 1 in 49 chance of being raped, assaulted, or murdered last year, which is a 5% higher rate than the previous reporting year. There are perhaps 10,000 gang members in Shelby County. Why is Tennessee so violent? Like many of the states we discussed earlier, poverty, high drug use, and a lack of solid jobs are all contributing factors. A lot of the property crime comes from druggies and other lowlifes breaking into property looking for drugs and money for drugs. Seems like they can't find enough cops to deal with the crappy people who make such a great state a dangerous one. Anyone want to volunteer to walk around Newport or Sweetwater alone at night? Anyone? No? Didn't think so. Gonna take the highway to the danger zone. Remaining in the South, our next dangerous pit stop in America is Arkansas. How do you feel about that, Arkansas guy? Okay, so not everyone in Arkansas is a redneck, but most are. Arkansas is another poor state in the South with a far higher than average number of murders, rapes, assaults, and robberies per capita. If you live in the natural state, don't leave your car doors unlocked. There were more than 7,100 vehicles stolen in the state of Arkansas last year. And holy cow, if you've never been to Little Rock, we're not trying to diss anyone hard, but man, that place is rough. It's always on some list of the most dangerous places in the U.S. for one year or another. For a city of its size, 50 murders a year is sky high. It's not Memphis rough, but Little Rock, in a lot of places, it's straight ghetto. Pine Bluff, Arkansas is also pretty bad. There's definitely a bunch of people getting ghosted every month in Arkansas. If you talk mess about someone's boo, you're going to get knocked out in Arkansas. No matter what the cops do, people here still seem to act like fools. We need to get the hell out of Arkansas. We don't have to travel too far away to get to our next most dangerous state in the Union, Louisiana. Does poverty correlate with crime? Yes. Louisiana is very poor and the number of thefts and attacks here is through the roof. Five cities in the Bayou State make the list of danger hotbeds in this part of the country. Monroe, Shreveport, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, and Alexandria are all places where you want to remain vigilant when you're out and about after dark. And don't even think about heading out into the swampy areas after the sun sets either. All told, Louisiana ranks in the top five for both violent and property crimes. The Bayou State had nearly 11 murders per 100,000 people not too long ago. The lowest was New Hampshire with one per 100,000 people. That means Louisiana has a murder rate 10 times higher than New Hampshire. And maybe no coincidence that the Bayou State is also the prison capital of America. Louisiana locks up more citizens per capita than any other state. The people here are some of the friendliest in the South. And you talk about culture. Wow. It's just that poverty, hot weather, and lax gun laws make this the wild, wild South. Want to get away? How about Alaska? It's pretty darn dangerous in these parts. So here's the deal with Alaska. Yes, it's the most violent place you can live in the nation. Sure, there's hardly any places in Alaska where people actually live, but in the large clusters of cities that do exist, the odds are higher here than anywhere else that a rape, assault, or murder will occur. That's some scary stuff. Alaska is also third in the nation for number of property crimes as well. For many remote Alaskan communities only accessible by plane, the biggest danger isn't bear attacks like this. Rather, it's the villagers themselves and the unavailability of any law enforcement to protect victims. There are at least 75 Native American Alaskan villages that don't have any law enforcement. These residents have to report crimes and wait for the Alaska state troopers to arrive after long hours of traveling. Unfortunately, there's places in rural Alaska it can take a day and a half before responders show up to a scene of a crime or a call for help. Forget that. Road rage here means he'll probably turn around and skin you and feed you to his Eskimo baby. Where's the most dangerous state in all the land? How does New Mexico sound? New Mexico has all the issues we described above wrapped into one. A Native American population that's poor and violent, a poor, relatively uneducated population that's lacking jobs and a bright future, and it's a border town, so there's issues with crime and vagrants sneaking into the country. The number of violent crimes per person is second highest here, 
and the number of property crimes is the highest you'll find in America by a long shot. That means there's more robberies, thefts, and break-ins here in New Mexico than any other place in America. Substance abuse, socioeconomic issues, and even the fact that the states crisscross by major interstates are all problems here. Half the crime reported in the state are in one place, Albuquerque, where car thefts are at an all-time high. People talk about Florida man being dangerous and sketchy and unhinged. What about New Mexico man? Anyways, if you live in New Mexico, you're likely bored to death and you have to worry about crime all the time. But hey, at least the sunsets are pretty. Good night, everyone.